Hi everyone, my name is Tony Padgett and it's December 4th, 2017 and I just started my first day on the MetaFast uh, weight loss program. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, to keep a video log of my progress uh, with the MetaFast program. Uh, not only to give myself some insights on how things are working, but also to see how others maybe who are thinking about doing the program might see the progress itself as well. Um, <clears throat> my plan is for the first week to do a daily update just to see how things are going because I think the first week is probably what I hear the most difficult, at least the first three days. Uh, and then I'll go weekly from there. Uh, I'll, I'll try to keep the uh, updates to a maximum of five minutes. Don't want to ramble on too long. Give you the progress, how much I've lost, how I'm feeling, uh, and any kind of insight for that day. Um, and then um, move on from uh, to the next video log the next day. Hopefully, you'll start to see over time, uh, hopefully my face getting thinner. I'll bring, bring you some charts and graphs of, of my progress and weight loss. And um, hopefully, it'll be interesting for you as well as for me. This is, this is the first um, video log uh, that I'm doing uh, for my weight loss. Uh, I'll do my normal progress first uh, and, and do the five minutes. And then uh, at the end, if you'd like to stay tuned, I'll give you the, the reason of why I decided to join a MetaFast, uh, a little bit about the program and how it's supposed to work. Just for those that are interested, uh, again, you can skip that at the end and we can just start right off with the progress being made. Okay, so how did today's uh, go? Well, first of all, uh, I weigh myself in the morning right when I get up. I get about up about 5.30, um, do the regular hygiene, and then uh, go downstairs to do my bike. I usually do a 30-minute bike. Today, because I'm starting the MetaFast program, they tell you to take it easy, so I did a 20 minutes uh, recumbent bike. Um, the overall, my starting weight, and this will be my baseline to start with, and hopefully it'll continue to go down from there, um, is embarrassingly 282.6 pounds. It's 282.6 pounds. And um, that's probably the heaviest I've been in my life. I'm looking at the video now. I don't even like the way I, I kind of look with the, the puffy face. And even you could say oh, lighting maybe is not so good, but um, I just really think... I need to slim down and it's just not good for the health overall. Um, before I started today, uh, on the last weekend, uh, knowing that I was going to start, I had a last hurrah, uh, meaning that um, on Friday, Saturday, Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday, I just really was a sloth and a glutton. I, I um, Beers galore as well as pizza and uh, we went to Teppanyaki, a place called Osaka, you know, uh, the sashimi and steak and rice and I had cookies on the weekends and just normal Coke. And I usually don't do, have normal Coke so, uh, quite a lot these days, uh, trying to cut back. And um, full breakfast at Santan restaurant just down the street from us, you know, eggs, some scrambled eggs and potatoes and all that stuff. I thought I'd just get it right out of my system because I'm not looking back at, uh, after this one. You know, that may be revisiting that in, in several months time, um, but um, that's it for now, and uh, I'm gonna keep it that way. Um, I will say that uh, I didn't sleep very well the night before, uh, Sunday evening. I think I was kind of excited, as well as um, a bit nervous, wondering if I'm gonna be able to do the program and keep up with it. Um, as well as uh, a little bit, I, I don't know if sad's the correct word, but maybe a little bit uh, uh, thinking of, you know, wow, you know, I'm not going to be able to have those uh, nice uh, dinners uh, with my family anymore or in, enjoy those relaxing beers after work or on the weekends, uh, etc. So, um, you know, a little bit sad at that thinking about how, and excited about how this is going to work because I've seen other videos and uh, video logs where people are actually reducing their, 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 their weight quite a bit and I'm just really excited to get started. So um, started to wake up, woke up, did the exercise, weighed myself again, 282.6 pounds. That's, that's the, uh, that's the uh, baseline. 
Uh, my goal is to be uh, 250 pounds, at least at the start. I want to give this a try, and if everything goes well and I'm feeling pretty good about myself, let's see where we go from there. I just want to do step goals from now. Uh, so what's my first day impression? Well, um, I'll, it, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later, but I am on the five uh, and one program on the Metafast. That's five Metafast meals, they call it. I probably call them like servings. I, I wouldn't call them a meal. Um, but uh, the it's uh, five of those and then one lean and green, uh, which my wife is uh, happy to, uh, to help me and, and will cook uh, according to their program. That's uh, some kind of protein, chicken, fish, uh, pork, steak. Uh, it's five to seven ounces, I think, uh, etc. So, but, but what did I have today? So anyway, the meals overall, I, for my first impression was they're not so tasty. They're a bit bland. Um, the uh, bars are, with the chocolate bars definitely have the chocolatey taste, but a little tangy something's in there that you kind of go, hmm, something's not quite right, but it's nothing that grosses you out. Didn't feel grossed out. I did feel full throughout the day. Um, well, let me get back up. Uh, noon, I, had, I won't give into everything I eat, but just, just to give you first impressions, um, the chicken noodle uh, soup or the chicken flavored noodle soup was actually quite good. Um, could have used a tad bit of salt to, to add a little flavor to it. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that, but you know, a pinch, I, I'm guessing, won't hurt. I uh, may do that the next time around. The pretzels and stuff that else I had was quite dry. Um, again, kind of bland, nothing really to write home about. Um, and then in the evening, had my lean and green, which was uh, five ounces of pork along with some soup, uh, well, soup, I should say. It's mushroom with a bit of water, but my wife made, along with some um, uh, green beans as well. And then the shake. The shake, I'm a little disappointed in because it, I like to have my sweet stuff, um, but uh, it was sweet enough. It's a strawberry shake, and adding ice apparently helps throw it up a bit. Um, it, overall, I, I didn't feel hardly hungry. Uh, today, I think tomorrow is going to be more challenging, and, and so will Wednesday. Uh, today is Monday, as I said before. The um, I did feel a bit squeamish or hunger pains coming around 3.30. I split the, the meals at from 8 o'clock to about 10.30 to 1 and 3, and about 3 o'clock just didn't do it for me. So I had some sunflower seeds that I supplemented with. I just a pinch of them and a small box of P3 planter snacks that I needed to get rid of. Um, so I just hadn't ate that. It was like 80 calories. So for a first day, I thought I needed to do it because I was having a bit of pain uh, in my stomach, uh, probably from still digesting all the pizzas and beers and stuff that I drank and ate over the weekend. Um, that was, uh, that helped. Um, I had to do some physiotherapy for my shoulder. I came back and ate and Never really felt that hungry. I do feel a lot of, a lot of digestion, etc. Um, and also, I need to also to let you know that I am doing the vitamins and the um, probiotics that they offer. I think it's good for your digestion, uh, etc. So that was all good. Um, again, feeling weak in the afternoon, but that picked up. And again, I did not really feel too overall uh, tired or hungry. I just felt myself kind of longing for, hmm. I got up and walked around the home. Oh, there's some cookies and there's uh, some sweet stuff. Oh boy, wouldn't it be good to have a, a, a Coke right now? Uh, the kind of sweets I missed a bit uh, because of the flavors I think I missed overall today, except for the lean and green, which was, was definitely a, a helped, helped that out. Um, I do want to also let you know that uh, I did have uh, a Coke and a half. When I say a Coke and a half, this is Coke Zero, which is zero calories which is supposedly allowed, but I don't think I want to overdo that. But again, just to get me through these first couple of days, I did need some type of taste uh, to help balance things out until I get used to this. Uh, I'll hope to cut those out to zero going forward and just do water. Drinking lots of water. Hope I got my 64 ounces in of liquids today. I think I did. And um, the one thing I noticed, I, I'm tracking everything in my fitness pal and the app for every Metafast meal says this um, ingredient or item is high in protein, every single one. 
So I guess the idea is really to give you as much protein as possible and cut down the carbohydrates, cut down everything out. At the end of the day, I used to be in my fitness pal. I used to be able to click close the day or close the diary for that day or something like that. It lets me know but roughly how many pounds I would lose over so many weeks to meet my goal. The app wouldn't let me do that. I was surprised. It, uh, it says you do not meet, uh, you need at least 1,200 calories a day to meet your nutritional requirements, and the app will not let you close for the day. Now, it still will track it, but it doesn't let you close. So I found that quite interesting. The total uh, calories off the top of my head that I consumed today was roughly 850. Um, that seems to me a bit low, but let's see how it goes over the next couple of days, especially if you're exercising. On the bike, I do, I do a very vigorous exercise and uh, according to the bike, after 30 minutes, I burn at least 350 to 400 calories. That would only leave me 500 calories a day uh, for my nutritional needs. Plus, well, I've got enough nutritional needs stored in fat, though I guess that'll help burn that off quite quickly. Let's see how it goes for the next couple of days. Hopefully, I won't have to uh, do too much uh, uh, excessive or extra eating, such as the sunflower seeds or uh, the coke, I probably will do, need to do that for a couple of days and hopefully at the end of the week um, things will start to do a lot better or feel a lot better. So that's my report for today. Of course, there, you, I, I have nothing to report as far as loss is concerned since the first day. Uh, 282.6 pounds, looking to get down to 250 and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think it's estimated it'll take me about three months. So that's the end of the report. Now I'd like to go into uh, why I started the program and a bit about the Metafest program itself. Uh, if you're not interested in that, skip to the next uh, day log. Uh, if you're interested, stay tuned and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So <clears throat> you may uh, be wondering why I decided to start. Well, I think it's obvious why I started from a visual perspective. Again, as I talked about puffy face, um, in this shirt I feel my, my, my arms being um, uh, restricted by the shoulders getting more and more. I didn't like the fat that's sitting around my waist and under my arms and just looking at myself in a mirror after taking a shower. I just said, that's, that's not me. Um, I, I, again, I think it's probably because this is probably the heaviest I've been in my life. Probably I've done, I've been this heavier before. Um, a little bit of background before, about me. I've, I've lived in Asia for 25 years. Uh, and uh, I would say probably uh, my last years in Tokyo. I was in Tokyo for 17 and Singapore for eight. Um, and I would say towards the end of my days in Tokyo, uh, I was probably one of the largest I've been as well as probably Singapore because I know this because of my pants. I've had for several years, many, many years, wear these business pants and I still got a little bit of leeway in them. So maybe I was heavier than I am now, but oh, they were too heavy. Uh, I did a weight loss on my own program uh, about three years ago in Singapore where I was uh, diligently tracking my calories per day on the MyFitnessPal app. Uh, I kept it so that I could lose, I think I was set my goal for 2,000 uh, consumed calories a day plus the exercise added on another 300, 400 that I could, that I could consume or not consume or burn from my exercise on the recumbent bike. Uh, so brought my total uh, maximum consumption up to 2,400 and I kept way below that. I think 2,000 was what I, I ended up doing. I can't remember the exact details. I did this three years ago and about, and I was exercising five times a week, three to 30 minutes each, very vigorous uh, at workout. And I had lost 25 pounds in probably about five to six months. It was a cons constant, down, but it was I was seeing results. Sometimes it go a little up, a little down. Uh, one thing I did is I was very strict on my diet during the five days a week, uh, during weekdays. In the weekends, I let myself go a little bit. I wasn't picking out too much. I was still maintaining it, probably cutting it close to the maximum calories. Went over a little bit, but that little bit that I gained, I I, I would take off uh, the next week very easily. And again, I lost about twenty five pounds, or if I remember correctly, it was a, a good fifteen kilos, I believe, well, maybe less than that. Um, so I tried the same thing as I moved back here to uh, the U.S. last year. I had a lot of family issues. I had a, a mother pass away and a brother pass away, new change of jobs, etc. That put a lot of stress on my life and I just lost track. 
Um, it actually, those stresses let me actually let me keep my weight or lose weight. And I ended up gaining it uh, once I started feeling relief from the, uh, the anxiety passing um, until the point now where I get here. And I tried to about three, four months, about three months ago, try to do exactly the same thing I did in Singapore. And I just went up and down around 280. I would go down during the week, go back up quite a bit during the weekend, down, up, down, up, and making very slow progress. I can see on the map, on the, on the tracking app, overall my average was going down maybe a half pound a month, maybe a pound, maybe, but it was just, I was just not seeing the results. And, it, and getting older, I think it's due to my metabolism uh, uh, slowing down. So I decided I gotta do something else. This is not working for me. Uh, and I need something that's very procedural and process because I, if I have something, if I trust myself to do this and just by memory, I won't do it. So I wanted something that I could do that's very process oriented and organized. And I found Metafast. So how did I find it? Heard it on a, on a TV, on a uh, radio, on a, on a news radio program I listened to, commuting to work. Driving is also not so good. I've been back here in, in Asia. I used to walk, take trains, etc. That's probably another big thing. Being back in the U.S., you drive a lot. You don't do a lot of walking. And that naturally helps you burn calories. And also, Singapore was quite humid, so that probably just helped burn off calories by being out in the humidity. But uh, I decided enough was enough. Last week, uh, on Thursday, I met with one of the reps. They actually have a, a, a sales office here or a shop or whatever you call it. I got there. So let me tell you the process. You get there. You fill out the forms, uh, it tells you, ask you how much you want to lose, you know, what's your lifestyle, any medical conditions, you know, the routine, there's nothing really surprising there. Um, then I met with one of the reps, they went over the questionnaire, uh, she took my measurements from all, all, all around it, necks, weight, you, you name it. Um, their wet scales were sent, showing me at like 289 or 88 pounds, but um, that was with my clothes on, mobile phone in my pocket you know, you name it. So I, I don't trust that it's a good start. Hopefully we'll use the same uh, baseline when we, when we truck, when we check our weight in the future, my weight in the future. Um, she decided, and I, I read a lot that five, the five in one plan would be the best. Uh, it helps you lose the most weight, but again, contains the protein. So I think the overall idea is typical American, uh, America, typical human, maybe, maybe it's American. Uh, you need 2000 ca calories to burn it a, a day. Uh, without lose, gaining weight. Um, their 5-1 plan basically keeps you under 1,000 calories a day and tries to keep you full with a lot of protein. Um, she then calculated uh, that it would take me roughly, I said, well, how many does she want to lose? I said, let's start off 30 pounds. I don't want to do the whole 100 pounds or 80 pounds. You know, if I wouldn't, my prime weight maybe was around 280 pounds. Uh, I just think that's too long of a goal. So I want to go in kind of a baby step, so to speak, something I can really say, achieve results, stop there, or maybe continue, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, so she, she calculated out, take it, 30 pounds. They, they, they think that you average out about losing about two pounds a week. Um, for men, they say it may be a little quicker, but let's just take two pounds a week, that's 15 weeks which is roughly a little bit less than four months. So here we are in December. That means probably some time in April, uh, end, of, end of March maybe I should say, uh, I should be at my goal weight, uh, which is quite timely because in May, my parent-in-laws uh, who are Japanese, uh, we're going to have their 60th anniversary in Hawaii. So that should be a lot of fun and that'll be kind of like a little reward for me to do that. Now, what I didn't like next was they tried to push you into a almost like a year-long program because what they want to do is once you gain, you hit your goal, then they want to go on maintenance, which is so many weeks, and then from there uh, back into a, a kind of a healthy lifestyle. That all total program, not including the food, was about a thousand dollars after several discounts they wanted to give me. I said, okay. I really don't want to commit to that yet. I want to go through the first step, see how it goes. And I do think the maintenance is going to be an important part of this program. But I, if I do really good with this, I want to continue on with it and maybe not just do 30 pounds, do 60 pounds. So why commit? And if something comes up and I got to drop out, who knows? You spend $1,000, it's gone. So um, 
so that's that, that. So I just say, let's do five weeks. They had a five week program. Let's start with that. Um, and I wanted to play it safe. So I ended up, you, they, you're going to do the math, five uh, meals of their meals a day for uh, f seven days a week, five uh, weeks. That gives you 175 meals. Again, I wouldn't call these meals, I called them more of uh, uh, servings because it's not a, like you're sitting down to a meal with your fork and knife and you're ready to dig in. Um, each of these, uh, those, me those meals are come in boxes of seven. Um, and so I had to choose 25 boxes. She'll give you a list. They gave me a list. They didn't have much pictures. They had some samples in the background I could look at. And I just kind of picked the ones that I thought would give me some flavor or I'd be interested in. It was quite a ver different variety. Some things that they didn't, that she seemed to steer away. Maybe they didn't have them in, in storage. I, I don't know. Um, but um, anyway, we kind of I kind of went uh, with it. I probably ended up getting two of each of what I thought would like. Um, ended up spending a total of around $490 just for the food for five weeks. That was a bit of a surprise. Um, anyway, um, part of the program, I can understand that. If I could lose the weight, well worth it. And plus I'm saving on food uh, that I would normally consume and all those beers and pizzas and cheeseburgers and stuff going out, I'm probably going to end up saving money. Then you end up spending about 90 bucks roughly. Don't quote me on that. I, I didn't got, got the receipt somewhere, but just to give you a thought, around 90 bucks for their, I would say, consultation. It's their membership fee. So you end up spending about, right off the bat, about 580 bucks. Uh, and of course they take credit cards. Um, let's see what happens. I really don't, get, don't want to commit to a full year, but um, if this first five weeks works out, we can talk, discuss what the next steps are. I'm sure they're happy to take my money either way uh, that um, either way it goes. So um, the same day, because this was in Chandler, I got the food. They were all stocked right there, ready for me after we did. We actually, I chose the food first and then we did the rest of the measurements while we did the measurements. My measurements they brought the food out and i was had these big boxes of everything i also they said as I said before i got the probiotic uh pills uh vitamins and omega-3s and stuff and my wife su suggested that to make sure i have good digestion thought it couldn't hurt that and, and then if i really wanted to i think it's expensive i could probably buy at cvs later um they said somebody would call me during the week um maybe not i thought every day but maybe not they didn't have nobody call me today monday but let's see what happens that's it in a nutshell. I hope I haven't bothered you, uh, bored you too much. Uh, this again, the first uh, day one is a bit of a longer uh, video because of um, the introduction to the program. Going forward, day two, day three, week one, week two, week three, uh, hopefully we'll, this will just be under five minutes progress, immediate ideas, thoughts, insights, etc. Uh, and let you know what's happening uh, with my progress and how the program's working. Again, help, hopefully this will help you uh, answer your questions so that you'll uh, make the right decisions for yourself.